Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to take a picture, a regular, like a picture that you take a photograph and turn it into an SVG file to cut and put vinyl and stuff. So what you're going to need to download is Emma Engine. Now this is going to be for your iPhone or iPad. This does not work on the Mac. Um, I'm not sure if it's for Android or not, but this is for the Mac users. Okay. I'm just showing you how I do it. Um, so what you're going to need to do is download this app called Emma Engine. And then what you're gonna do is, cause you'll come to the app store, you're gonna come to the search and you're gonna type in that Emma engine. All right, just like that. Okay, so once you come to um, and you get that Emma engine, this is the one that you need to download. This one right here, and it is free. The only time it's gonna charge you is if you decide that you wanna you know, be able to download these images and save them to your Dropbox or something. I think you gotta pay $2.99 just one time and you'll be able to save them to Dropbox and stuff. Right now I don't have a Dropbox, so that's not where I do it. I'm gonna show you how to, down to download. As long as you have an iPhone and iPad where you can airdrop to each other, that's what you're gonna do. Okay, so what you're gonna do is download this. When you do, you're gonna come over here and this is what it's going to look like, just like this. Okay, so then you're gonna go and right here where it says import photo, you're gonna click that. You're gonna come to your photos and then you're gonna pick one. So let's say I wanna do this one right here. All right, so you can see all this extra. You can see all the green trees and all these kind of things. So what I'm going to do is this one. Now, when you're at this point, you can go ahead and if you want to get rid of some of this extra outside or like this or anything like that. But I want to kind of keep mine like this. So you just, that's where you're going to kind of play with that. But if you wanted to shrink it where it was more just having that image like a baby or whatever it was, you want to get rid of a lot of that background. Um, if not, you don't even have to fuss with that. Then the next thing you're going to do is hit this go button right here. All right, so this is what it's gonna do. What you need to do, you have all these options down here. You need to have it on ink, or you can come over here and have it on Amorpho. I found that ink works the best, so that's what I have it on. Then you're gonna have these four little dots right here. And it's probably hard to tell right now, but one is called Detail, Threshold, Stroke, and Freckles. So what you can do is you can start. So if you're not happy 100% with the way that this is, don't worry about the background, because I'm gonna show you how to get rid of that in just a minute. So what you're gonna do, you're just mo mostly focusing on the face if that's what you're doing there. The, the, so say you're just gonna take them and just kind of play with them. You can see that cleans it up just a little bit more. Um, you just take one of these one at a time and just figure out exactly what looks best to you. And just do it in small increments. And if you start to panic and you think, oh no, I really like the way that they had it at first, all you need to do is hit home, go back, re-add the image, and it'll just put it exactly where they had put it. So let me go ahead and get that cleaned up just a little bit. And so you can just kind of play with each one of these and see what each one has to offer. So you can see that added a little bit more hair there. So let's see, let me go ahead and get this exactly where I want it. Pretty much happy with it kind of more down this way. Kind of get that a little bit. So let's just say that I was happy with this. So the next thing that I would do, once you're happy with it, okay, um, once you, what you're going to do, and like I said, let me go ahead and show you all that just so you guys can know. So say I was freaking out. I already moved all these dials. I liked the way they had it at first. I played with it too much. Just hit home, which is right up here. Then import image, come back, add the same image again. And if you want to adjust this in any way, okay, then you would hit go. And then boom, there it is again. And it's right back where they had started it, okay? So then what I'm gonna do, so now that I'm ready to go, I'm ready to make this a cut file, I'm gonna come up here to edit. So you're gonna come up to the editor. Now if I wanted to get rid of all this stuff in the background, you'd come over here, this one right here looks like an eraser. So it's one, two, three, four down, you'd hit the eraser. You're gonna mess with your eraser size here, okay? So what I would do is I would just come in and erase all this. First of all, the very first thing you need to do to make this an SVG, let me back it up. What you're gonna do is you're going to, see how there's two layers right here? Right here, there's two of them. You're gonna click on this one and hit the trash can. Get rid of that. So now that's white, because that's more like a past, like a pink. Make sure 100% you do that first. It doesn't matter if you do it last, whatever, but just get rid of that before you forget. So you need to get rid of that. All right, so then I have it on eraser, and I would just come over here, and I would just get rid of all of these things right here. Now, you don't have to. If you want to leave that, um, you could leave it, but if you don't want to. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of a majority without touching her at all. Anything that I could get rid of without getting too close, I'm going to do first. So just like that. All right. 
All right, so once I have a majority of that gone, then I'm gonna come and I'm gonna make my eraser real small just so I could get in here and get this detail without touching her face or anything like that. So I could come in and get all these little pieces just like this. I could actually make that a little bit bigger. So I could carefully come right up against her nose and you can see it's not touching it. So it's just real careful. So you definitely, with these stuff that's just too close, you wanna bring down that eraser size. So just like that, I'm gonna get rid of that. All these pieces here. And it takes like no time at all. So I'm doing this right now while I'm talking. So you can see how quickly I'm cleaning up this image. It really just doesn't take hardly any time at all. And I like the fact compared to Design Space of how much they break this up. I'm gonna bring that eraser just a little bit more without it being so close to, because sometimes in the Design Space it's a little too close. I'll show you that here in a second too. So I still need to get rid of all of this right here. All right, so just like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this piece. I'm not too sure if it's hair or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it just like that. So say that I'm happy with that. I'm gonna go ahead and get this piece here cleaned up behind her. All right, so just like that. So now I'm happy with it. It's an SVG. What we're gonna do is I'm going to come down here where it says share. So I'm gonna hit this little triangle thing here. I'm gonna make sure the SVG is clicked and then I'm gonna go ahead and click open in. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna airdrop. So I'm gonna airdrop this to my phone. Okay, so now I have airdropped it to my phone. You guys couldn't see that, but all I did was airdrop it to my phone. So if you guys know what I'm doing, what, what I'm talking about with that. And if you're, say your kids have a phone, but you don't have like, cause if like I have an iPad and a phone so I can go back and forth. If you don't have two things that belong solely to you, but your kids have one, send it to their iPhone and then send it from their iPhone back to yours. If that makes it, it's real super fast. If you know what I'm talking about with the airdrop. Okay. So, and then you can also airdrop it to your iMac and then send it, you know, and then you'll have it for design space there as well. Okay, but what I do is whenever it asks me to save it to, once I airdrop it and ask me where to save it, I save it to iCloud Desktop. That's where I save it. Okay, so now here's my image. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back out, go to Cricut Design Space. I'm gonna go to New Project, Replace. Okay, so I'm gonna go to Upload. This time, instead of selecting from Photos, because it's not going to your photos, it's going to like your save files, because it's an SVG, go to Browse Files. And then you're gonna see that it's right here, whatever you named it if you did name it, but mine's just whatever it saves as. All right, so then I'm gonna save it as fishing. All right, done. And I've done this a few times, so. But you can see, sometimes you can't really see some of this detail to get rid of it. Um, so what I do is, so you can see it doesn't even have you like do all this stuff because like normally when you bring an image in, because it's already an SVG. So it don't have you like erase stuff. So um, what you do when you bring it in here, if I forgot some of these little pieces here, because you can see that it's an SVG because you can see back behind. I do this every time I forget to unlock that. Lock that back, okay. So you can see these squares behind it so you know that it's an SVG. But what if like, you know, when I was doing it, let me bring it down, so I got this little spot here that I missed, a couple tiny pieces here. All you have to do at this point is go to Actions. You can either go back to it and clean it up or go to Hide Contour. And then I can zoom this in really good to the spots. And all I gotta do is click on these little pieces. And you can see how long it's taken me. This is a super fast process. So it really doesn't take much to get this done. All right, and then so what I would do is just go ahead and click on all these pieces that I don't want. So I could come, there's a tiny one here. And I think there was a couple tiny ones up here. And then even like, you know, I've got a couple pieces back here I don't like. All right, I could come here. All right, and then back behind her, there was a few pieces. Nope, that would take all that away. So I could click on some of these. Some of these I won't be able to take away because it would take away the whole kit and caboodle, but I could always take like a square and get rid of those. So like, see if I wanted to clean this up just a little bit more, I'd just take shapes, I'd take a square here, bring this down so I can see my square. All right, so then what I would do is I would take a square and kind of line that up just like that. Let me rotate it just a little bit. Something like that. Select those, come to actions, hit slice, 
and then I'd be able to get rid of pieces like that that I wouldn't be able to get rid of. Then there's a tiny dot I could go back in, but there's your SVG, and I could come back in in that contour and get rid of a few of these pieces here that I don't like. I just hit hide contour again, kind of zoom in, and I could get rid of all, whoop, almost got rid of her face. Let's see, undo, undo. Okay, there we go. But either way, you get the point. So like I said, so you can just take that contour and really kind of clean that up however you want to. But that's how I bring in an, in an image. Now, if you wanted to do it just with, um, with Cricut Design Space, you would just go to Upload, go to Select from Library. You would just choose your, your image. Hold on, let me go back here. All right, so say that. I'm gonna do that exact same picture because I'm gonna show you the difference. All right, so what you would do, it would come in just like this. You would hit remove. So what I'm gonna do is click on all the stuff that I don't want. I'm not too concerned about the background because I can take my eraser, but I would just start clicking on some of these things like this. All right, so you can see how it took some of her face, but it's still correct. You can see that it's going to take it and be the lines that it needs to be. All right, so what I would do is, this is what this line's for. So I could come and go to kind of, bring back my, my darker lines just a little bit. So if you watch this image here, you can see how I can bring some of that back. So I would just toggle with this a little bit till I was happy with the, um, the thickness of what it's taken away, if that makes sense. Um, and I could play with that just a little bit more. Let me kind of play around with this for a second so I can make sure I got the best information for you guys. All right, so see how much better that just came in? Um, so what I could do is just hit our hair here. All right, so I'll just keep clicking on stuff so I can bring it in to create this whole thing here. All right, once I get to a certain point, um, what I can do, let me wait for that. Okay, so once I get to a certain point, all I gotta do is hit eraser. I could bring my eraser as big as I want to. At first, I have it really big when I'm away from the image. Same thing as I did with the other thing, just because it cleans a lot faster. So I could come in and clean up a majority of this stuff without bumping her. All right, and then I could come back in with my eraser, make it real small, and come in and just really carefully clean up everything. You could even get in here because you can see how some of these spots on her shirt and stuff like that, I could come in and clean those spots up if I wanted to. I could come in instead of clicking this anymore and just completely clean up her shirt if, that, if you can see what I'm talking about there. I could just completely take away all that. And then once you're done, you would go to next. And then you can hit despeckle, which is right here. And then I can slide this to get rid of quite a bit of those little speckles there. And you would just play with that until you were happy with it. So it doesn't look like with this image it wants to, so every image is kind of different. I don't want to get rid of as much speckles. And then the smooth here, if you hit it, it just kind of makes it smooth. So any of the jaggedy edges, it smooths those out. But it's just so much, you can see how much easier over here this image looks compared to using it over there. And it just really depends. And like I said, this is a free app. Um, if you can't airdrop from one thing to the other, then didn't pay the $2.99. You'll have it forever. You can just do it to your Dropbox or whatever. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.